Peace be with you everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor, really grateful to have you here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and first impressions of three fragrances that I picked up from FragranceNet. Uh, I was trying to do a little bit of some treasure hunting, find a few cheapy hidden gems. Um, we'll find out if they're gems or not. Uh, so one fragrance in this haul is from the house of Fascinable, I believe is how you say it. Um, I've heard uh, their main fragrance, uh, Fascinable Pour Homme, has uh, been recommended by a few uh, reviewers that I respect, um, namely uh, Mr. Smelly, Dan Naughton. Um, so this uh, isn't that fragrance, but it's a uh, newer release, but I think it's a re-release of an older formulation they've had. This is Fascinable Le Original. Uh, so I'm going to check that one out. And then the other two fragrances that I've got here are from a brand that I've done in first impressions on before. Uh, I didn't really care much for the other two fragrances, but this is Enrico G's Green Rain and Enrico G Original Sin. Uh, so the previous two Enrico G fragrances that I've tested out, uh, I believe are discontinued and the brand no longer produces them. So I'm hoping that uh, their rebranding and newer fragrances might do a little bit better than the other fragrances I've reviewed, which I think were uh, Oud Nobile and um, Oud Magnifico, if uh, memory serves correctly. So I'm actually just going to start off with the Enrico G fragrances. I'm going to go ahead and open up this Green Rain. Uh, pretty excited about this one. I think there's a tomato leaf note in here, which is fairly rare in fragrances. Um, trying to find some stuff for the springtime. Uh, so r right here in the top of the box, they've got a list of uh, notes. I don't know if you can read that there. Uh, so top notes, citrus fruits of Sicily, grass cut, and black currant, heart, tomato leaves, agathomosa leaves, papaya, melba peach, and then base, green moss, iris root, cedar pine cones. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, pretty nice presentation, heavy glass. Uh, plastic cap, but um, that's okay. Uh, check it out there. Uh, like I said, this is a heavyweight bottle. It feels pretty nice. Uh, say about you know mid grade on presentation. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw this one on the right hand here. Sprayer is uh, okay. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. I'm gonna let that one settle in real quick while we open up the bottle of Original Sin. And we're gonna go ahead and put this one over on the left hand. Uh, so far in the air though, the green rain smells pretty nice. Uh, a little bit feminine leaning so far, but it, it does remind me of something. Uh, so the original sin, uh, we'll go ahead and maybe check out the notes again. I'll try to get that up there for you. Uh, so we've got fig leaf, bergamot, plant lymph, heart, fig pulp, currant, sour peach, damask rose, and base patchouli, sandalwood, Lebanon cedar, and vanilla leaves. So go ahead and get this one out. Uh, again, pretty similar presentation to the last one, just a different uh, sticker label there. Go ahead and get that one on the left hand, probably about the same atomizer. Uh, it's decent. Okay, so we'll go ahead and come over here to... Okay, this is... Um, I feel like there's a slight feminine lean to it because there's uh, that peach note is really prevalent, but it's starting to kind of settle in and it's very, very fresh, zesty, uh, rather nice. Uh, if the performance on this isn't lackluster i think this really actually could be a hidden gem don't get too much of the tomato leaf i have gardened uh tomatoes before and it's a pretty pug pungent uh note so i'm not getting too much of it right here off the top but yeah very nice there's a definite green uh quality to it it somewhat reminds me of uh, banana republic vintage green I think it said that grass cuts were in the note breakdown of this one, and I can kind of feel that fresh cut uh, grass. But the peach, like I said, is very prevalent. The citrus up top, I think it was like Sicily citrus. Also very zesty, mouth-watering, very nice. I actually think uh, this is 
you know, something that I, I could see really being a hidden gem. Actually looking forward to wearing this one. Uh, hard to say if it's going to be more of a spring or summertime fragrance. But yeah, I think this is the only peach fragrance in my collection right now, and it's a rather nice change of pace. Okay, yeah, so far so good. Uh, good marks on the green rain. I'm really liking this one uh, so far. Okay, and then let me go ahead and see what's going on over here with the original Sin. Okay, so the original Sin is actually a lot more, seems a lot more green than the Green Rain. Uh, it's very, the fig note is is not very fruity. It's, it's definitely more of like the green bark leaf aspect of a fig plant. A little bit, um, I don't know, I feel like lifeless might be a good word. Like it's it feels like the dead bark of a tree like there's not anything living going on with it it feels very gray not necessarily in a bad way i can see this being a pretty good uh, rainy day fragrance but it's very soft so not overly um, excited about this original sin right now it seems very linear very soft probably doesn't have great longevity Definitely feels a lot more grassy and green. Like it, it feels very like soil-like. Like there's definitely an earthy quality to this one. But like a potting soil kind of. This reminds me a little bit of a, um, I think it was a, an Anique Monardo fragrance, Po de Allures uh, from the House of Stark. This is giving me a little bit of a reminiscent quality to that. I think Geosim is a uh, aroma chemical that gives off that soil tincture kind of vibe. I don't know if that's in here, but it, it reminds me a lot of that. Okay, so far not that impressed with the original Sin. The green rain is developing a little bit. It's almost giving me off, or giving me a little bit of like a cinnamon kind of vibe now, like a big red chewing gum. That's kind of strange. Okay, uh, so so far uh, seems like the green rain is a little bit of a hit, and the original sin is a little bit dull. Uh, finally, I'm just going to go ahead and open up this uh, Fascinable fragrance here. I do have a few other fragrances from this house. Um, I think Riviera is one that I own that's pretty good. Um, very unique smelling, that Riviera fragrance from Fascinable. Um, but uh, I don't know if I would recommend it in any lists right now just because it's got uh, like the quality ingredients are only so-so in it. Um, Okay, so here we go. Presentation on this one. Uh, Presentation is really nice. Heavy bottle, frosted glass, uh, plastic cap. Usually the rims here on the Fascinable fragrances tend to start to chip, which is a little bit unfortunate and um, cheap, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this one right on my forearm here. I'm gonna, uh, the Fascinable fragrances always have really good atomizers, though, so. That's a uh, point in favor of this fragrance. Let that settle in for a minute. It smells pretty good in the air so far. I think I'm picking up an herbal note, maybe like rosemary. A little, yeah, that rosemary kind of is giving it a bit of a minty quality. This reminds me of something in my collection right now, but I don't know what exactly. There's a little bit of like a creamy citrus, uh, like an orange, creamy orange. Yeah, again, like I said, um, with the Fascinable Riviera, the quality of ingredients are 
they're not lively they're not i don't know there's just the, the the blending in here and the overall scent profile is really nice but the quality of ingredients are only so so yeah i don't know i'd be interested to wearing this one on like uh, a sunny spring day that's kind of chilly with a nice uh breeze like a cool breeze Pretty, it's a little bit creamy, soapy, citrusy, herbal, green. Fairly pleasant. Uh, seems, like I said, something that it reminds me of something in my collection already. I can't really put my finger on what that is. I'll have to maybe do a follow-up on that one. Okay, I, I feel like that tomato leaf is starting to come out a little bit more in the green rain. And the fruity aspect of the fig is coming out a little bit more in the original sin. Well, good news is that these uh, Enrico G fragrances do seem to have some degree of development and depth. Uh, so I'm looking forward to get some more wares out of these ones. I might make the uh, Green Rain my scent of the day today. We'll have to see. It is very cold and rainy here where I'm at right now. So um, I'll have to see what I reach for in, uh, in my uh, weekly wares video that I do once a week next week. But uh, yeah, so far I think this is the clear winner out of this unhauling. Don't know if they're actually hidden gems yet, um, but it was fun doing a little bit of treasure hunting, and I appreciate you sticking with me to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.